Hi guys, uh, my name is Alan Hart. Today we've got hold of a Baxi Knitter Tech. So what we're going to do is we're going to strip this down. So it's going to be a little bit different to what other people do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to strip this so there's no parts left in the boiler. So we'll take every single piece out of this boiler and we'll see how easy it is to strip down and how easy it is to work on. So before we start, always make sure you get a gas safe registered engineer to work on your gas boilers or any gas appliances in your property. Engineers must be gas safe registered. So let's take the case off and let's have a look inside. So we'll take these two screws out. So the side then will just lift off. So again, it's got some nice lugs inside there. So it makes it easy so you can get into the side of the boiler here. If you've got the clearances on the job, obviously. So we're going to take the expansion vessel out of the way of this so we can get into the boiler nice and easy. So we've just got a clip here. So we'll just pull the clip off, just pull it off. And then, and then we've just got a nut above here, which is a 13. So that's your expansion vessel out now. So I'm just going to take the other side of the hose off here. Don't know if you can see in that hose, but might be a bit hard to see on camera. That hose is very, very small. The hole, the hole is very small, but also on this one, it, it looks like it's almost blocked up so we're going to take out auto air vent so we've just got a 5mm allen key I'm just going to undo the pump so we've got another, another one got another bolt just here on this side so we'll just unplug it there. Just got a screw there as well. So we'll just have to pump out now. So backup pump is plastic on these. And to be honest, in most boilers nowadays, the back of the pump is also plastic. Some debris in there. See that? So I'm just going to take the diverter head off. So there's a little pin just here, a little clip, and then these just pull out. If you notice on there, it's got a screw. So on the first ones of these, they didn't come with a screw in, um, and then Baxi updated them because this used to go loose. You know, looking that divert ahead it's been leaking it's been getting into into the head So these used to also leak from that o-ring on there, had a few of these leak but this, it's got quite a lot of muck in this. So if we take out diverter cartridge on that, we'll just have a look at that. So that's what's inside them. Yeah. 
have to see really. Come get better fuel. That's very mucky in there. You can see it's been leaking because pressure gauges have water in it. And again, if you look at the end of that, don't know if you can really see really, but it's tiny. And it's it looks almost blocked really. So I'm just going to take the burner out and take it out of the way so we can get to the block easier. So that's your burner. Nice. So it looks like You've got to take all that block out in one. Have a look in there. I don't know if you can see really either. Got a lot of muck in this. It's obviously been on a a very mucky system or plastic allows air ingress and helps with corrosion I don't know the answer um, maybe somebody could tell me so this has got a rubber hose on this so let's cut that out and see what's inside so it has got a rubber hose but only a right little tiny bit of it is actually in use because it's got copper on the inside of both of that so it's obviously only a right little tiny bit we just take off the board off in one Gonna set trap out. Should gas valve. And the heat exchanger, which is in good condition, really. So I just want to show you one thing that is really good on these boilers and it's on all the Baxi Ranger boilers and it's this drip tray and what that means is if you get water coming down the air intake the water will go into here as you can see on there it has had drips of water in but then what it does is it falls down onto here goes down there and it goes down the drain and it goes into a condensate trap so you don't get all the wet and stuff in the boiler with this on so it's a real that's a really good design so there we have it that's your neat attack fully stripped down thanks for watching <laughs>